everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD Blind. Most of The Legend of the Wind Waker. The Legend of Zelda, The Legend of the Wind Waker. We can see our medley skirt, it's beautiful. Last episode, we started this temple with the medleys. And one thing I did not mention that you can do with her is when you call her, if you want her to stop following you, you gotta pick her up and then put her back down. Like a stoop. Yeah, I don't know why that makes her stoop, but it does. Um, yeah, so we came up to this room, and there's new enemies in here. I'm scared, quite frankly. I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, you throw your... Ah, good lord! Whoa, 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 holy crap! I don't know what you are! What are you? Uh, uh, okay. Yay. Do I have your... Oh, I do have your necklace. Your necklace. There we go. I got all your necklaces. Now you all are going to die. I hope you hope you enjoy death because it is coming your way. <sighs> yeah. Oh, good lord. Okay. So the pose are interesting, guys. They curse you when they lose their lantern. And what I'm doing right now is my controls are reversed, or at least my control pads. So I'm pressing up and I'm running down. I'm pressing down. Oh, and now it's gone. So honestly, the best way to I find to deal with this is knock the lanterns out if you can. There we go, and then just get cursed on purpose. That's the only way to quote unquote destroy them. Come on, why are you scared? Jeez. <laughs> it's really not too bad though. I mean, it's pretty quick to get used to it. Well, not really. Uh, I really want those rupees actually. Can I get them? <laughs> Interesting how all the. No, I want them! Eh, eh. Aww. It's, inter it's interesting how. Oh crap, what was I gonna say? It's interesting how all the like those orbs you get, they seem to give you like similar items. Like I keep getting 25 rupees, like two gold rupees, one blue rupee, and like a one green rupee or something. Anyways, we could go that way. Ugh! Oh, I thought maybe she could make it. Let's see if I can command her before she gets all crazy. Oh, look, see it. Probably she would get her like dazed eyes, like you remember in Dragon Roost Island where we tried to throw her. I can't see anything. Jeez, can we like move the camera or some crap? Probably not, but that's okay. We don't really need it. There we go. And really need to destroy one of these, but you know, as per normal, Chris must make everything even. <laughs> I have to destroy all the things. Alrighty, uh, I guess we'll come down here as well. Come, my lady. Come, come, my. Are you serious? Are you gonna do it? Really? Come on! I forgot that was in the original game as well. Nintendo, you couldn't fix that. Oh, well, there's two ways to go here. Interesting. Alrighty. I love these halberds so much. They're so cool looking. I even love how they have like a bite out of the back of them. It's like the pig guys got hungry, so they just run. run. <laughs> so stupid. All right. Open the chest. Drop it. You got a joy panic key. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna maybe be a freaking key. Jeez, this would have been too easy. Uh, and you see, there's not a lot of these here, but there's no way for you to be able to do that. So, I'm just gonna toss that because screw it. Uh, a bunch of skulls up here. I feel like there's another fairy in one of these. Is there another fairy in one of these? Hey? Eh? Hey, assholes. Alright, pick you up. Guess we'll go through this room. When do we get dead end here? here we come. Oh, it is just this room. This is gonna get a key in this room. Oh, I remember this room. This room is terrifying me. I think there's actually a way to like kind of glitch it out a bit. If I remember correctly. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh yeah, there we go. You got a small keys and open up lockers. You can only use in this dungeon. This room used to scare the balls out of me, so I'm just gonna avoid. Oh, you can't. Dang it. I'm pretty sure I've seen like a speed run of this game though. Well, the original game where you can like jump on top of that tomb, like jump from that ledge, and then you'll like gra grab onto that, and you'll you could like get this key somehow. I don't really know how. Anyways, here's the introduction of Redead. And I don't remember actually how scared I was of these as a kid. Do you get? Do I get anything from you? I mean, they make elephant noises, which is really weird. Not what you would expect them to do, and I think maybe that's why I might have been scared of them. Not really because they look scary, but more or less because they're weird. It's like they have these big earrings, and then they like they make elephant noises. They're like, ah! <laughs> uh, can I? Can I set you a blaze? I can, but it probably doesn't do anything. Freeze you, but it doesn't last very long. Ah! Can I do it quick? Oh no! And then this happens and they take off a lot of- Oh, or and a half. Well, never mind. 
You gotta mash. Oh crap! I just wanna freeze you again, madame. Eh. Uh. Oh, nope, not gonna work. Dang it. No! Oh, that did kill him. Great. Ooh, kill him and stuff. <laughs> so I guess the best bet here would be to so I walk towards all these tombs to make them activate for whatever reason. Apparently your footsteps are so heavy. There's three in here, really? Jeez, I don't know that. Oh man. So they can only use this weird stun thing once in a while. So once you once they use it, freaking just mash your freaking sword. Oh, uh, and he's dead. I don't know. So they, I mean, they look creepy. I mean, especially in like this cartoon-esque setting. But I don't feel like they're that bad in this game. But I don't know. I, I'm trying. I can't remember if I was terrified of them as a kid or not. Cause it's kind of like a maybe thing. Ooh. So simple. Does that mean this is a mini boss? Oh, I'm not taking medley in here. That's probably a sign. That's probably a mini boss. Hmm. What's this gonna be? Oh. Really? This is the stealthos of this game, you guys. And let me tell you, they are pretty freaking hard. Um, the best item to use against them is actually the boomerang. Ooh, you know what? No, it's a uh, boomerang and hammer combo. I'll show you why, guys why in a moment here. First off, using that. Yeah, your arrows like deflect off them. Oh boy. Let's try using uh no. What about if he did this? <laughs> I just love how they hit their heads. Oh boy. Yeah, they have this little thing. This little spinny tack. Oh, do they Okay, so now best bet to do is use your boomerang to stun him and then your hammer to kill him. To ooh kill him. I probably should have killed him the typical way there, just showcase since so now they're gonna make you fight two. Like, did our reveal us too? No, it did not. Well, we're fighting too. <laughs> I love how they don't even really have feet. They just have like, it's like half, their bodies have in half or some crap. I kind of like how they put us, or how I killed them over here. All right, let's get over here real quick. Oh, good God. They don't really have much indication that they're going to do that attack. All right, and then they do that. You can tell they're about to swing. No? Okay, take a little while. Ah! Oh, I thought he was gonna burst there. I say you better not be able to hit me. Though. All right. Normally, well, no, what most people do is attack him like this. However, when you do fight him like this, oh, really? Nobody takes two rounds to kill him with that. Okay, we're down to two and a half hearts. I'm not really enjoying that very much, to be fair. All right. Yeah, I saw that coming. Slow and steady, mother truckers. Alright. You know what? We're gonna wait a second, because if you take too long to, to get them to go, they do this. Whoa! Oh, yeah, and you can pick up these as well. Oh, I didn't mean to throw it, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so once again, boomerang and skull hammer. Easiest way to take care of them by far. I mean, even so, even using that technique, I still am down to not very many hearts. Let's break these. Let's start breaking them. Oh, man. Let's try, let's try breaking them on green. See if it gives us magic or not. Oh, look at that. It does give you a lot of magic. So maybe orange is the correct one. <laughs> one of the hammers are in here. That's weird. Man, well, I don't even need magic. Okay, let's try breaking on orange. What's that giving me? The same thing. Okay, maybe it doesn't even matter then. Man, all these conflicting sources telling me, Oh, it does matter. Yeah, if you hit it on green, it'll give you magic. No, if you hit it on green, it'll give you rupees. Like, gosh, dang it. You got the mirror shield. The shiny surface reflects beams of light. Holds the R to use the shield and L to aim its reflection. Holy crap. It's like an eyeball opening up. It looks like a, looks like a guardian Minecraft, actually. You guys know one of those water temples? Like, it's, it's the body and then the eyes in the middle. And they have, like, these spikes come out in all directions. Yeah, totally what it looks like. Trust me, just... Not, there's nothing else in here, right? Yeah, there's no treasure chest. Medley just vi silently waiting for me. I said... I was going to say violently. <laughs> Alright, so now I can pretty much do the same thing Medley does. Which, gotta say, not a big fan of the mirror shield ever. I don't really like it that much. I mean, it's cool. 
It's a cool concept, but it's never really used that much. And even when it is, and that sun is kind of creepy smiling, but okay. <laughs> I got. I really like the symbol in this door as well. I love the symbols in this temple. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got in this room now. Well, all the enemies responded. Did, did, did. Which, I mean, normally I wouldn't even worry about it. I'd be like, well, screw it. Why would I fight him again when I could just skip through this room? But it's actually for the best that we do fight him again. Oh, you, know, you guys can drop your lanterns. Ooh! Ooh, actually. If they let me get up here. Don't attack me, assholes. I don't know if enemies could attack you when you're on the ladders or not. Use your mirror shield on them, or just shine light on them. In well, first off, they'll drop their lantern. What the heck was that? I hate light. It burns. Oh boy, this is really awkward to aim. Come on. Come on. So awkward to tell where you're exactly aiming. Like right now, it looks like. Whoa. Hello. Try maybe you know. See, it's like, I'm, I'm locked on. It's like you think, hey, locked on should help me. Yeah, if you shine enough light on them, they become physical beings and you can kill them. Oh. I'm going to let you enchant me because, quite frankly, I don't really care. I mean, you guys can see how big of a pain in the butt that was to aim. So we're just going to purposely do that. And then let's go grab Medley. Whenever you do leave a room with Medley in it, I think she typically, or not, I thought she would just appear at the very beginning of the room. Where is she? Did she appear at the beginning of the room? Uh, I think she appears at the beginning of the room that I left her at. So we came through this door and then back out again. Is there anything in that room? No, there's not. Okay. No! Let go! I can pick you up. Oh, I'm not feeling too good. Aw, oh, you hit a wall. Come on. No! Dang it! <sighs> Nothing. All right. Okay, careful freaking touch any freaking ledge. All right, so we're gonna look over here actually, and we're gonna climb up here. Which, to be fair, it'd probably be better, easier to do it the other way, but we're gonna shine this light down. We're gonna shine that light like a diamond. Oh, wait a minute. No, it can't work that way. We gotta do it this way. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play the command melody. Uh, and then we're gonna go up here. The reason why we can't do this the other way around is because Link has got to be able to play the command melody to command her. We're gonna press A. We're gonna shine this down. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna press CR to go back. Now, since she's still in my commands, what the heck? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, geez, I don't see the symbol. In the oh, there it is. That's weird. So now you can actually use her light, and you can do like a freaking two-way mirror. Not two-way mirror, but. Do you guys see what I mean? <laughs> oh, there's more? Really? Holy cr What? Oh, I was gonna say, jeez. That'd have been insane if we couldn't. Um, do this, do this. Alright, what's in here? Five poopies, A. Eh? Looks like. Okay, is there anything else like that? No. So let's grab Medley again. I'm gonna come over here and I'll do another two way mirror. And see, this is where, once again, the command melody becomes even more of a pain because you gotta use it even more to do these like mirror tricks. The same puzzle over and over again. <laughs> the same double reflection, the same double rainbow. That should be okay, I think. You also gotta keep in mind, like, what, like, see, Link is right handed, right? So he puts his shield on his left hand. So, because of that, it makes it a bit weird sometimes. Like, in this case, it would be easier if Link's shield was on his other arm, right? Because if you put go this way, it makes it easier to reflect. And wow, that is a lot of rupees. Let's see here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, 70, 80. There's 80 rupees here. Ah, oh, so satisfying. But yeah, we need all these rupees we get. Because we're actually pretty short on rupees right now. We could definitely not buy everything in this game. Hey, we're back over here. Okay, there's nothing more that way. We and oh good lord, ah, that kind of looks like a giant redid with a mask, doesn't it? That's crazy. I never noticed that before. Did I take damage here? I really hope not. Uh, which way do I want to go to? This way? Yeah, it's this way I want to go to get um uh, that treasure chest. 
you. Oh no, what? <laughs> okay, I, I totally know it's gonna. Wow, killed it already? Or it? Yeah, I don't care. It's gonna drop. It's not gonna drop hard, so I don't care. Cause I love it. Oh man. Come on. I, I might even showcase here what happens to Medley when you release or when you let him uh, hand get to her, just in case. In this case, it doesn't happen to me naturally, but it is gonna be a pain if it does. It does happen to me, anyways. But whatever. Okay. Anyways, now we can come in this room and we can unlock these. Because once again, we couldn't bring Medley in here because Medley can't go through doors without us. Cause she's a scaredy bird face thing. <laughs> you got Joy Pendant. What a troll! You seriously have to go so far your way to get to this treasure chest. And it's a freaking Joy Pendant. Well, there we go. First floor is 100% clear. We've been through every single room. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh no, where's Medley? We've been through every single room. And now, we're just oh, there's no floor master here. What the heck? Where do you go? Okay, let's show what happens when Medley gets caught. Oh, oh the hands got her. Oh no! Oh, poor Medley. I feel really bad. And she's gone. And then we died. Nope, just kidding. We don't. Oh, the floor master disappears too. Or the wall master. Or the, I think it's actually the wall. That, no, I don't know. It's weird because neither of them are on the walls. Link, I'm over here! <laughs> she looks so not scared that she just got freaking tormented by getting her body ripped through another dimension. But okay, be safe, some medley. So, yeah, this is actually what this cage is for. The floor masters throw, up here, throw her up here for whatever reason. I don't really understand from where and why, but okay. I mean, did they forget, forget she has wings? Couldn't she just fly here by herself? Jeez. But anyways, now they have two reflective surfaces. Now do this. Actually, an easy tip is as soon as you get the reflection on there, you can just press ZR and she'll keep it still. That actually does not look as cool as it did in the original game. The sun was a lot more opaque. Like that. There we go. Oh, boy. I just love how it gets faster. Man, that sounds and looks so cool. Holy crap, this actually looks... Okay, I changed my mind. This looks a lot cooler in this game. In the last game, it just made the room, whole room look like you're in like daylight. But this actually just makes it look like a beacon of hope. <laughs> There's even light up there. Okay, yeah, that does look pretty neat. There's a bunch of pots over here. Let's go take a look at what those are. Hey, look, it's skulls! Ah! Reminds me of that stupid holocaust post someone posted on Meverse. <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me of that. It's something I should probably just be forgotten about. There's nothing in these pots, really? <clears throat> over here, those pots were so, like, I don't know, out of the way and weird. Like, there's none of this on that side. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, Medley, we have cleared the first room. I used to consider this like the main hub of the dungeon, so let's head down to the next one. <clears throat> There's like two hubs of the dungeon, I guess. The second one isn't nearly as memorable to me, though. Alright, in the next episode, we will descend farther down to the dungeon. Hey, look. Oh, boy. Those things look scary. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye Link is happy. Right, Link? Ah. Pick her up. There you go. Bye-bye! <laughs>